All right, so today is our review day for test number two. Uh, test number two is coming up on Friday. Uh, in theory, the test covers everything from the semester, but its focus is on all the material uh, since test number one. Um, uh, but I say, you know, in, it's on everything because, uh, you know, we tackled the product rule before test one. Well, you still need to know the product rule, right? But I'm not going out of my way to test previous stuff it's focused on these topics here, but obviously you need to know the things that we did before. Um, so let's take our quick look at our review page and then you'll spend uh, most of this uh, period just studying, practicing, however you see fit. So a uh, broad, broad stroke overview of the subject areas for the test. Finding derivatives, uh, we've had formulas for a bunch of different types of functions. I'm writing product and quotient and chain rules here, uh, although we'd seen some of them earlier this semester. Applications of the derivative, repeats from test number one, um, relating derivatives to graphs and optimization and modeling and interpreting derivatives in context. And the reason they're repeated is that now we know the derivatives of many more kinds of functions. And so I can ask you more kinds of modeling and optimization problems, same techniques new functions. And then we had a couple of review days on pre-calculus topics, uh, exponential, logarithmic, and trig functions, and you will see some straight up pre-calculus questions on this calculus test, okay? Just like on the quiz, it said uh, find a formula for the sine wave, you know, for the, the water level rising, and there was no calculus in that question. You're going to see pre-calculus questions on this test. There's a much more detailed list in the study guide on the next page. Uh, I said, think I said this for the first test. Uh, for each item in that list, try to figure out what kinds of questions I might ask that are related to that item and make sure you know the process for answering those kinds of questions. Uh, let's just try this once on the next page. So here's a much more detailed study guide. And so you read through each of these. So let's say, I don't know, we, we're down here at number 11. It says simplify expressions involving logarithms. So hopefully you have a clear idea in mind of what kinds of questions I might ask you to do that involve simplifying expressions involving logarithms. And if you don't, you try to go to that, that day where we talked about log functions and review and come up with some problems that fit in under this umbrella. Uh, so for example, if I said simplify uh, log of x, uh, so, uh, let's do this, uh, log of 3x plus uh, 4 log something like that. There is a way to smush these two logs together into a single log and it takes a couple of steps versus four needs to get out of the way and we know that um, numbers in front could have come from powers. So this is really log 3x plus log i to the four. Yes. And then addition of two logs could have come from a single log with what operation? Multiplication. Right, so multiplication inside becomes addition outside, so this is smushing together two logs into one. Right, and so you can go through that list of 15 things and hopefully ultimately put a check mark next to each of them. Yes, I understand what kinds of questions Ian might ask me here, and yes, I can answer those kinds of questions. All right, uh, let's see. Um, uh, okay. Um, all right, I don't know what this is here. Use the derivative of a function to solve an optimization problem. Oh, I think that was me just picking one of the things that's on the next page, but we actually just went to the next page and picked a different one. So I think that's on the list in the next page. All right, things to know about the test. Uh, again, you can use a one page reference sheet of notes uh, of your own creation, front and back, anything you want to write on there you can. And again, you should save that sheet after you take the test and bring it with you to the final exam. On the final exam, you'll be able to use four different reference sheets. So potentially one from each of your three tests and then one more for the end of the semester. So don't throw those away. You spend time making them. Um, can't use a textbook or any other notes. You can only use a scientific calculator, not a graphing calculator, not your phone. I can lend you one on Friday if you don't have one. The test is written to be one hour long, but I have a relaxed time limit on tests, so your window is 10 until noon, <clears throat> 10 till noon. So uh, show up early if you think you might want some extra time instead of coming for a 10.40 start, come for a 10 o'clock start. Um, uh, I, I said this heading into the first test, if you show up at 10.40 and then noon rolls around and you're not done, you put me in a very awkward position of, you know, like, hey Ian, can I have more time? I didn't have my two hours. Well, okay, you can have your two hours, but your two hours starts at 10, whether you're in this room or not, okay? So show up early if you can. Um, 
And uh, as usual, show all of your work uh, on the test. Uh, no homework assignment for next class. You are studying. Uh, there is a reading assignment if you've been doing reading ahead uh, for Monday, where I will give you a brand new packet or last packet of the semester. Any general questions right now? Okay. So uh, options for how you spend your time for the rest of this period. Um, uh, there are uh, all of the practice problems in this packet number two uh, in the activities um, that maybe you didn't get to all of them. There's the even more practice sections that you might not have gotten to. There's that whole separate practice problems. Uh, sorry, we don't have that in this class. At the end of this packet is a collection of sample test problems and you can work on those. Uh, what I would encourage you to do is find the problems that are the toughest for you. Find the problems that you don't want to do. Do those right now when you have lots of people around you that can help you, right? Don't just start at the beginning and do easy problems for the next hour and then get to the hard problems when you're studying on your own over the next two days, okay? Raise the flag if I can help.